All right, what's up guys and gals and welcome back to another Division 2 video. Title update 6.1 just had landed. Uh, I currently streamed almost, uh, I think it was a little over two and a half hours. Uh, it's called Let's Play Title Update 6.1. Uh, go check it out. Uh, I was able to uh, get the Slayer Exotic uh, SMG within the first five minutes. Uh, I actually found two loot goblins. If you want to check out the location I was at, then go check on the video. It's in the first you know, 10, 15 minutes of the stream. Also, I showed the differences in how the Negotiator's Dilemma worked as far as the changed aspects of it also. But I will also do an updated video uh, standalone with that later on this evening once this one actually is concluded. But this is as far as when it concerns the hardcore mode. Now, just like before, um, if you've already had one character and then you want to create you know, the second, third character, and you want to level up that character really, really fast... Uh, it's basically the same way when it comes to when you chose to power uh, level it. So, if you have any standard cash keys, I still have 22. You can sit here and open them and rank up just as you know you did before, if you did do this. And every duplicate you gain XP from. Now, the same apparel uh, pieces that you had prior to that on your other character stays on your hardcore mode character. As you can see, I keep getting XP. And you can do this and level your character up as much as you want to. Um, on the stream, I had 88. Um, and so, I mean, I consistently went through, I think, like 20-something. And then wound up, I believe, like level 4. Um, but I didn't want to do that the whole entire stream because it would be kind of lack lackluster. So, all you got to do is sit here and open up caches, level your character up. And then that way, the drops from the NPCs will actually be higher level gear. And you can kind of give yourself a leg up by doing this. Now, keep in mind, if you die, you lose everything and have to restart it. So if you waste all your uh, standard apparel caches off the get, then you're going to have to refarm them and get those uh, cache keys back in order to keep doing this process. But if you're competent and you got the time dedicated in order to to play this hardcore mode to see it through until the bitter end you know no matter if you're on it two three four six seven eight hours essentially it's just like playing the campaign as soon as you bought the game from day one same cutscenes, same everything all the way through it same tutorials nothing's changed so if you've leveled up you know more than one character then it's the same repeat process the only difference is that you die you lose everything and have to restart now, once I achieved level 1, I got a cheesy apparel hat, uh, and then I didn't receive anything else for quite uh, some time. Really, the only thing I received was a bad taste in my mouth, how really, in my opinion, it was a waste of time. But that is my opinion, and that's not reflected on the thing as a whole, because there are people out there that like, you know, trophies, accommodations, things of that nature. Um, so if, if that's, you know, what you're into, then kudos to you, this will be right up your alley. But it's essentially playing the same missions over and over again that we do day in and day out um, just to grind for gear. Same RNG, boxes, loot boxes are in the same places. It's just like starting the game from scratch. But let's see where we've come to thus far. Um, let's see, I have six left. And as you can see, I'm already a level two. And with that level 2, I still have the same gear, but as you can see, you can kind of cheat the system per se, uh, just to more or less give you a leg up. It's not nothing game-breaking, but it's something I didn't don't think they really um, thought about when the janitor came out with this mode, as far as the whole uh, beating around the bush and to, you know leveling up your character a lot faster just by cheesing that the system as far as the standard caches. But I just want to drop that information for you. Uh, whether it's beneficial to you or not, I leave that up to you. I'm just here uh, giving you the information. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll see you fudging later.